Welcome back, everybody. We're here to pull cards for the 25th of November. I am going to be pulling one card for overall energy along with one card for each sign, and we're going to look at how those energies combine to get the messages in for each sign. So, um, excuse me, lost my thought train for a second. Um, so we're looking at those card, card combinations. So what I want you to do is make sure you stick around to hear the translation of the overall energy because I'm probably not going to translate it 12 more times for each sign. I'm just going to give you the meaning of the card combination. And if you're able to hear the original translation of the overall energy, that's going to help you understand where I'm going with that card combination and its meaning. Okay, so... Overall energy is, oh, the Feralt, we like it. So the Feralt talks to me about things coming together in harmony. Talks about bringing in healing into either a body or a situation. So we like this. This is, this basically is some type of healing. It's also patience. It's a very down to earth, um, energy it's very grounded so we like this energy lots of goodness just wrapped up in it like if you want to kind of think about all the goodness of mother earth and how harmoniously she works together between the plants and the animals and all of that good stuff there's really a lot of that type of well-grounded harmonious um things falling together into place, uh, energy there. Well, there's our first card for our first sign. We'll flip that over here in a second. All right, let's get going. Aries, you're up first. Queen of Cups showing up in reverse, Aries. This really tells me with this card combination that you've got somebody in your sphere of influence who is having uh, basically a volcanic emotional explosion and you are the person who is able to really bring peace to that whole situation that is created by that. You're the one who is able to bring peace and harmony out of that. So we like that. I do want to adjust the camera. It looks like these cards are... Okay, that looks a little better to me. All right, let's look at Taurus. Eight of Pentacles showing up in reverse. So Taurus, this is just telling me that you're really not doing any kind of work today. Um, and definitely not clocking in somewhere. Uh, also could be that whatever you planned on doing around the house does work. Not happening. Volunteer work not happening. Something is going on where that is not happening. And it is um, rejuvenating and healing for you to take some time off of work. Of course, it is a day after Thanksgiving, so in the U.S., a lot of people don't have to work, uh, but, you know, there are a lot of people who do as well. So um, this is really an interesting card to have come up, bringing peace and healing into your life by not working for many, many, many of you Tauruses. Next up, we are looking at Gemini. Star card showing up in reverse. Geminis, there's something going on that you weren't feeling very hopeful about that um, you're starting to find some healing around that situation. So where before you may have felt a little bit despondent around that situation, now those feelings are not the same. You may be feeling hopeful about the situation. You may have just come to a place where that situation is not um, something that is throwing you off anymore. You're able to move forward in a balanced way in spite of uh, the idea of things not being hopeful. So it's going to come in a couple different ways um, for different ones of you. A uh, lot of da, cancers. Princess of Swords showing up in reverse. Um, cancers, you guys may be looking at different ways to find healing in different parts of your life, whether that healing is for your body, for your finances, for your relationship. Um, and I'm going to say that for a lot of you, you're looking at what can I do energetically to heal this more so than um, in a tangible um, action. Okay, next up we're going to look at Leo's. Okay, so Leo's Eight of Swords showing up in reverse. I really like this Leo's because it talks about the idea that there was something that was 
um, really kind of keeping you bound or keeping you oppressed. It could have been that you were overthinking about something and that wasn't allowing you to move forward. Um, could have been um, literally uh, in jail or, you know, not able to leave a certain area. Um, we find that there is a release from whatever that was that was keeping you bound today. Okay, we like that. Next up, let's look at Virgo. Sir Nunos coming up in reverse. Virgo, I think you are taking some um, significant steps towards letting go of um, something, a bad habit, possibly at the level of addiction. doesn't have to be that intense, but some type of bad habit or a thought pattern that is not helping you, an obsession, something that has been toxic in your life. You're healing up from that and you're letting that toxicity go. So we like that a lot, Virgo. Next up, we're looking at Libra. Six of Cups coming up along with the Ferelt. This just tells me that the idea of thinking back about some of the old memories is bringing healing to a relationship that you're involved in. Okay, doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. A lot of times people hear relationship and they go straight to romantic. I don't have a romantic relationship. I didn't say romantic. We're talking about relationship. Could be romantic, but for most of you, I really don't feel like it is. For a lot of you, I feel like this is a family relationship, to be honest. Um, and who is that? That was Libra. Next up, we're going to look at Scorpio. Scorpio, 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 Ace of Wands showing up here. All right. So Scorpios, I think we have some kind of new and inspired idea about something that we can do to be more productive moving forward. And that idea is bringing healing um, to whatever situation that idea applies to and also to our psyche, really, uh, so that we're not um, worried about this situation. We have, we have a solution for this situation, so bringing healing in that way as well. All right, so that was Scorpio. Next up, we're doing Sagittarius. All right, Sagittarius, Seven of Pentacles. Do, do, do. We like it. Okay, with that overall energy, Sagittarius, this is telling me that there is something, uh, some kind of, ooh, this is interesting. There's two different ways it shows up. There is some kind of healing up of a payday for some of you. So if you had a payday that did not go right, like people didn't record everything you were supposed to be paid or too much got paid out of the paycheck that should have come to you or whatever, okay, a payday that did not go right, then this talks about somebody is making that payday right. They are correcting that, all right? Now, for others of you, this is going to have to do very much with physical bodily healing. All right. Um, I want to say those berries there are alder berries, although that may not be right. I can tell you that they are berries that are commonly used to build the immune system, boost the immune system, and help people get over things like colds and flu and stuff like that. So um, this is a card that very literally talks about healing with that Seven of Pentacles, bodily healing, physical healing. And the Ferelt talks about everything working together in harmony. And that very often can be about our body, everything working together in harmony. So with this going on, I think that you may be feeling much, much, much better than you have been feeling. Or you could be taking steps to manifest a healing in your body today as well. So a couple of different ways that this can be. This can have to do with healing up a paycheck or making it right. And this can also have to do with healing up a body. So some of you will get one way, some of you the other. Some of you will get both. But I don't think that's the minority, or the majority, excuse me. Next up, we're going to look at Capricorn. High Priestess and the Ferelt. Oh, 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 Capricorns. Your intuition is in high gear today, and it is upgrading. You're starting to recognize your intuition and your, if you didn't before, or if you had a lapse where you weren't before, 
You're starting to recognize your intuition and figure out how to go with that flow. We like it because um, when you can recognize your intuition and work with it, that's that's when you have like the most productive happiness making situations open up for you just because you're going with the work that the universe is doing. So we really like this one, Capricorn. Next up, we're looking at Aquarius. Aquarius, four of swords showing up in reverse. What do we have here? Aquarius, I think you're doing something in a different location today than your normal. And I think that this something could be um, something that brings you some type of rejuvenation, some type of healing, uh, some type of harmonious activities are happening here with this card coming up this way with our overall. Okay. So you could be going to a hot springs, rejuvenating. Um, there's something going on here where you're doing something to rejuvenate um, something in your life at a different location than is your normal location. All right. So we like that. And that was just one example. There's lots of ways for that to manifest. I can't list them all. We would be here on an indefinitely long video if I was listing all the manifestation possibilities that I could think of. All right, so that's Capricorn. Next up, let's look at Aquarius. Nine of Swords showing up in reverse. Aquarius, some type of mental or emotional healing is coming here where you're able to relax and let something go. Maybe you're letting go of a trigger. Uh, maybe you're forgiving somebody, but definitely mental and emotional healing is happening. You're feeling much better today, Aquarius. Next up, we're looking at Pisces. Empress showing up in reverse. Ba -ba -da -da. For some of you, not all of you, there is healing in a situation that would have to do with a marriage marriage or a partnership. Uh, romantic version. Okay, specifically romantic version of relationship. Uh, for others of you, this is a little bit more general than that. For others of you, there's been something that you've been trying to manifest, but you've been receiving the opposite. This is you really healing up what you're actually manifesting today and manifesting those things that you actually really do want rather than those things that you don't want or that make you anxious or afraid. So some kind of upgrade in your manifesting taking it to where you're manifesting what you actually want instead of what you don't want. We like that. All right. So thank you guys very much for being here. I do appreciate it. Everyone enjoy the rest of your day. Peace out.